Tonight, I received a call from my very good friend, Mark Moroni, who informed me of the terrible loss of his legendary father, a husband, a father, a brilliant businessman, a prime minister, a statesman. Our hearts go out today to Mark, Nicholas, Ben, Caroline, his four proud children, and of course his best friend, the love of his life, and his wife Mila. But all Canadians grieve with them because they remember his incredible story. He was the son of an electrician who, despite those modest beginnings in a working class community in Bay Como, Quebec, rose to extraordinary heights in business. Before he even turned 40, he was the head of the Iron Ore Company, one of the greatest mining companies of all time. He then jumped into politics and won the biggest majority in Canadian history, later winning re-election. But it wasn't electoral success that defined his political career, it was what he did with it. As Prime Minister, he unleashed free enterprise. He crushed inflation. He signed a free, the, one of the most important free trade agreements in the history of the world with the United States of America that lay, remains largely in place today. And on the world stage, he stood firmly on the side of freedom and against communism in the Cold War. He was also one of the first and probably the most strident opponent of apartheid in South Africa. In fact, Nelson Mandela singled out Brian Mulroney and by extension all Canadians for his essential role in applying crippling sanctions against the apartheid regime that would help bring that racist system to an end. On a personal level, Anna and I deeply appreciate our friendship with Brian and Mila, having hosted them for dinner soon after I became leader to seek the, the advice of both of them in our new roles. And I know that all Canadians join with me in saying that we will miss that deep, beautiful, rich voice and that big, friendly, Irish smile. I think we can all agree that Irish smile, I, I think we can all agree that Irish eyes are smiling in heaven tonight. Thank you. Is, what would you say is the <clears throat> largest way he's influenced you? I would say that the lesson I take from Brian Mulroney is to always remember humble beginnings. Uh, he started as the son of an electrician in a working class Baycomo neighborhood. He worked like crazy to get himself a good education and pay his way through law school. But no matter how high he rose in politics, he remembered those humble beginnings. He remembered the struggle of his parents to, to put food on the table. And in everything he did as prime minister, he thought of the very same young kid who was born in those same circumstances and wanted to give that kid the same chance he had. And it reminds me that this is a country where it doesn't matter where you come from, it matters where you're going, it doesn't matter who you know, it matters what you can do. And that's the country we want for all of us. When he was coming up in politics, uh, the Prime Minister was named Trudeau. Today, you were trying to bring the Conservative Party up into a place where maybe he would have. Can you say what piece of advice he's given you directly that stuck out the most? give people hope. I mean, at that time, uh, people were suffering. In the early 80s, people were losing their homes uh, and struggling to pay their bills with brutal inflation. But along came uh, this hopeful, hardworking, and brilliant leader 
who said, we can turn this around. And he did. And as a result, thousands, millions of Canadians had the opportunity to work hard and own a home and live the Canadian dream. The advice he gave to me is give people that same hope as people go through similarly hard times today. Um, when was the last time you spoke to Mr. Mulroney? And is there a memory of his like to share with us that speaks to you? The last time I spoke to uh, Brian Mulroney was about six weeks ago. Um, I had heard that uh, his health had taken a a turn for the worse and I wanted to make sure to give him a call because he was in his 80s and even then we didn't know exactly how long he had so uh, I called him up to get some of his advice and um, his analysis of the political landscape he was still following everything he knew everything that was happening both here at home and uh, around the world uh, he has an absolute he had an incredibly encyclopedic mind he, he could he could he could tell you what was happening in uh, Swiss politics or in Taiwan on a given day. Um, he had uh, he was a, uh, he he loved to have conversation. He was a brilliant conversationalist and a wonderful storyteller. And um, I remember he said actually he did give me some other advice I'd forgotten about. It was the most important wife he, uh, advice he gave. He said. Um, Pierre, you have a brilliant wife, like I do, and he said of Mila, he said she is your best friend, she will be your best advisor, and she will be this, the key to your personal and political success. Uh, and uh, he was a great admirer of my wife, and he told me that he saw a lot of his family in the family that we're building now. Um, and uh, that was very touching to us and we'll always remember those cherished times we shared. Thank you very much, everyone.